Hi, this is Greg Koopman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save copies of your jobs using versioning. Okay, here we are in Talon Open Studio. I'm going to create a new job, and I'm going to call this uh, versions um, example. And I click finish. So now we have a job with our palette up, or with our blank screen, design screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a quick little object, this T Java. All right. So so we can name this. Okay. Now what I want you to first notice here is I have I got a job name which is called Versions Example, and notice it says point one here. Okay. Point one refers to its version. So if I go into Save As. And I look at my save as you'll see down here under version and you'll see a big M and a little M okay the little M will, will increment when you click on it will increment the version by a point uh, point one the big M will will increment it by a full one int uh, one digit okay on this side so for example we already have one at point one so now let's go ahead and make one at point two. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on point two. Uh, actually, before we do that, I'm going to do a couple little things here. Uh, I want to I want to do something so we can track this a little bit. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to just go ahead and change that to v1. We're going to call it v no v point o point one. Right? Because that's the name of it. Okay, so now we got V0.1, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that. Okay, now that's saved under the 0.1 version. Now I'm gonna now change it to, it's easier to come in here actually, so I'm just gonna change it here. I'm gonna change it to 0.2, because that's what I'm gonna increment it. So now I'm gonna save it under 0.2. So I'm gonna say save as, instead of save, I'm going to save as, I'm going to click this little M, and notice the point 0.1 changed to point 0.2. And then I say finish. And now notice that up in my panel here, it says point 0.2. Okay, now let's say we make some more changes. I'm going to throw another little guy in here. So T, Java, whatever. All right, we're just going to leave that alone. Just leave it as is. Just set it out around here. And this one I'm going to go, since I've made another object, I'm going to make this a major change. And I'm going to make this, I'm going to bring it up to version 1.0. Okay, so I'm at 1.0. Now I'm going to say file save as. Okay, didn't let me save that, right? Okay, so, um, so for some reason it didn't let us save that right away. So I'm going to move this a little bit. Generally I should get a save as. Yeah, there we go. We've got a save as there. And here I'm going to make it into a major version change up to 1.0. And I hit finish. And now I have a 1.1.0 version. Okay. So let's just close up everything. All right. And let's say we want to go back. We, we have our, our versions example right here. So let's just, if I open it, just plain old open just as it is and edit the job, it's always going to open to the latest version. So as you see, I'm in my version 1.0, which you can tell here, and you can tell right at the top there. But let's say I also want to look at some old versions. So I can say, open another version. So this is what's really nice. So I can see my other versions. So I can go back to my 1.1 version. So let's finish and bring that in. And notice now I have two of them open, this one with the 1.0, and the current one with the line under it is 0.1. So there's my 0.1. And there's my 1.0. I really like this because I don't have I don't have to have like tons of versions of it. Uh, each one a separate copy. Um, here I, I have one version here, and um, I mean I have the latest version. And then if I want to pull up the other ones, I can. You can go ahead and save it as. Let's say I want to save it as a new version. I do save as, and I could bring this into make it a major version 2.0 now that's a 2.0 okay so I might change this guy right now I can come in here and change it so I can change that 
0.1 to 2.0. Okay, so I save that. I'm going to save it. Okay, so anyways, that's what I really like about this. I can easily, so easily save my version changes. And it's so nice to be able to go back. It's not great source control, but boy, it's easy source control. Um, you got to make sure you have that your your C drive with that talent and everything backed up. Don't get rid of your workspace because that might that might uh, throw the whole thing. It might get rid of it because that's where it's all it seems to be all stored from my, what way I saw it uh, when I played with it. So um, you know, make sure you have your backups uh, if you go fiddling around with some stuff in the background. What's also nice is that let's say I want to change the name, job versions example of it, or versions example. Let's just change that to. I don't know, let's just change it to something different. Um, of course, we can't have it open when we change it, so let's just close it. And I'm just going to go to Edit Properties. And I'm going to change this to Copies. I'm hit Finish. And now, as you see, I don't have the version examples, I have copies. But look what I still have, open another version, and it kept all my versions, which is great. So now I can actually go to version point two, finish, and there it is, version point two. Okay, so where do these files reside? The All these copies, or all these versions of my job. Okay, so I've loaded, I loaded Talent Open Studio on my C drive. So I did a search on C drive for the word copies, and this is what I came up with. So here's my, it looks like my copy, there's a 2.0, my 1.0, a 0.1, and a 0.2. Okay, so they're dispersed with, among different kinds of um, types of files. But what I'm noticing on this side is that they're all under my C colon talent, and this is my workspace here. So they all seem to be under that workspace. So what does this tell me? Don't erase the workspace. Otherwise, your all your copies and versions will be gone. Um, that could be the case. So, so be careful. Backups are your friend. I really like this type of versioning that uh, and how simple simple it is. Um, unfortunately, sometimes if it's not so simple, I might not use it as much. But I use it a lot because it's just so convenient and I'm always making mistakes and want to go back. So um, I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you watch more of my videos. Thanks. Bye.